Welcome to lesson 18. Let's talk about your story and your target market, your personal brand. So part of my personal brand includes um, a morning routine and my morning routine includes Energize, but I'll tell you what, Energize is not just for early in the morning. If it's um, 2.19 in the afternoon and you're working on a project, like I'm working on this video right now, Energize can be a kick in the pants any time of day. Mm. Man, that does good. Okay, so your story. Your story doesn't have to connect you with millions of people. I'm not Kim Kardashian. You're not either. We don't need millions of followers. We need a good, strong base of a thousand followers who get us, who are like us, who relate to us. And yes, they are out there. I promise you that. So knowing who you're looking for will help you find those people. Tell your story. People will relate to it and they'll say, I'm just like that. Or I used to be just like that. I get her. So as you're telling your story, you want to start with before Beachbody, I was, okay, before Beachbody, I was ashamed to wear a swimsuit in my own backyard. I went through a season where I threw away every sleeveless dress, sleeveless blouse, tank top, any outfit I had that showed my arms, got rid of it because I was tired of the guilt and I was tired of the frustration and I was convinced that I would never have arms I was comfortable to show in public. So at the time, I was riding an exercise bike and I was frustrated and annoyed that that wasn't bringing the results I wanted. I thought that should be enough. I was doing it 30 minutes a day for crying out loud. I should be good. But my pant size just kept growing and um, I was... I was eating in a strange way. Now, I wasn't skipping any meals, but I was drinking an awful lot of diet soda and all the 100 calorie junks packets, and, and I wasn't giving my body excellent fuel. Well, I found a solution. I saw an infomercial for Turbo Jam, and it was featuring my good friend, Shalene Johnson, and it looked like so much fun. And I started doing those workouts, and I started drinking Shakeology, and I started eating these things called vegetables and I started eating less and less junk food and pizza and donuts. And um, when I took off 20 pounds doing those things, I couldn't wait to get started helping others achieve what I had achieved. It felt fantastic. And it was something that I doubted I'd ever be able to achieve. When I did, I couldn't wait for others to get started to do this with me and feel as good as I was feeling. Now I'm excited about the future because doing this has allowed me to leave a full-time job where I was a school teacher all day long every day. Now I work from home and I love it. I have flexibility, I have freedom, and I have income that I'm generating regularly. And I wanna share that excitement with you and I want you to share your excitement with the people you're talking to through your story. So who will connect with this? Um, the people who are like you is who will connect to this. And that's who you're talking to as you tell your story. I'm telling my story to girlfriends who are like me. It's highly likely that you're gonna be telling your story to people who are like you. Now, I'm gonna help anyone who tells me they want help with their health and fitness. Having said that, my primary target market most of what I'm posting, most of what my stories embrace, I'm talking to people like me. I'm talking to moms who are busy, who are working, and at the time I was working away from home, now I work from home. Um, ladies who want to make improvements in their lives. Um, many of them, in my case, are middle-aged plus moms. Uh, maybe they want to lose 10 to 40 pounds. Some want to lose more, some want to lose less, but primarily those I'm targeting are just like I was, okay? And I want you to fill out in this lesson, there's a customer, ideal customer worksheet that I want you to go through to help you see what your ideal customer is. Um, if you're level three or four, you need to do this worksheet to help um to help find your niche specifically of what your target is. If you're level one or two coach, you're probably not even watching this, so that won't apply to you. Um, who's my ideal customer? They're moms, they're church ladies, they're girlfriends, they're teachers, they're women who feel stressed, ladies who are disappointed with their size and shape, 
um, people who like to have their nails done and would like to generate a little cash to do that with, people who like to travel, um, people who want to get their hair done, people who like to buy clothes and have their lashes done, and people who attend church, people who support education. Those are all people I connect with, and I'm in groups for different things related to those to help me find people who want what I have. People who want to travel is part of my niche. I love traveling, and I love that through Beachbody, I can earn trips, and I can also generate income to help me buy souvenirs that I want on those trips, or get my nails done and my hair done and my lashes done so I feel fantastic about how I look. Those are things that I like to do and things that the income from this business helps me um, fund. Uh, my cell phone bill gets paid through this business and in addition to having that as a business expense, um, it's also a tax write-off. So that's a pretty sweet thing. So I'm looking for people who want what I have and who want to try what I'm doing to earn those things. So I'm in groups online looking for those people. Uh, for me, that's a Bible study group or an educator's group or a mom's group. Find your niche and find some groups. Go there, be a friend, meet people. As conversations generate, they'll find out about what you're doing and you can invite them to try a challenge group or to give it a go as a coach. You're going to need to be adding coaches to your team if you're gonna build a business. Find your niche to do that. I want you to complete the ideal customer worksheet and you should still be inviting, you should still be completing that activity tracker. When you and I talk again, I want you to show me your activity tracker. Tell me what's going well for you, what are the areas where you struggle so I can help you come up with a solution for that and I will see you in lesson 19. Thanks for watching.